SCP-001 NOR Box Proposal. It is, a, it is the consensus agreement of High Command, the Overseer Council, and o Overwatch that SCP-001 is a casual loop focusing on the founda founder of the Foundation at the time period the Foundation was established. As a result of SCP-001's anomalous influence, there are three distinct timelines generated from this point in time. The details of the timelines as agreed upon their respective High Command, Overseer Council, or Overwatch is as following. Timeline HC SCP-001 conceived the notion of the Foundation by their own volition, but was assassinated by an unidentified military group speculated to be an alternate rendition of multiple task force ALP-0, originating from timeline OC and or timeline OW, before they can directly enact the establishment of the organization. This period corresponds to the initiation of SCP-001's anomalous properties in timelines OC and OW. However, SCP-001 was successful in promoting su su sufficient interest in the endeavor prior to their demise, and further catalyzed by the clear, clearly anomalous circumstances around their assassination, to prompt the orig original 13 members of High Command to do so in their stead. The now anomalous cadavers of SCP-001, another catalyst for High Command actions, was successfully contained in that childhood home of SCP-001, one of the few extant buildings at the time that predated SCP-001, of which at the time of writing is exclusively remains, before the anomaly began duplicating. How the Founding High Council knew to contain SCP-001 at this location and why they avoided using the door instead of lowering the anomaly through a hole in the ceiling is unknown. No documentation justifying the decision, if any existed, have been found. Being the first anomaly contained by the Foundation, it was designated SCP-001 following the official codification of the SCP designation. Timeline OC SCP-001 was in the process of establishing the Foundation alongside the members of the original Overseer Council. When they began exhibiting anomalous properties roughly corresponding to the point in time when Mobile Task Force ALP-0 intervened in timelines HC and, HW and OW, however, no evidence has been found indicating MTF ALP-0 has been present in timeline OC. I can Organizing SCP-001 as a new anomalous phenomenon, the Founding Overseer Council immediately de devised and enforced containment measures for SCP-001, cataloging it as their first contained anomaly. Timeline OW In Timeline OW, the Founder encounters an anachronistic military group self-identified by the moniker Mobile Task Force Alp Zero. This MTF presents the founder with schematics for SCP 001 A and, it, and assist in its construction, which is completed by the time SCP 001 is assassinated in timeline HC, gains properties in timeline OC. Upon completion of this task, MTF Alp Zero departs. The Founder establishes the Modern Foundation for the explicit purpose of studying SCP-001-A, with the original Overwatch being their initial research group, following the discovery of further anomalous phenomena that pose various threats to the Founder. Overwatch and or their notion of normal society, the function of the Foundation expanded to include the containment and research of these phenomena as well. Recognizing their abnormal lack of aging in comparison to the founding Overwatch, the founder voluntarily submitted themselves to containment and study, 
Following the discovery of SCP-001, the founder was re-designated as a proponent of SCP-001. It is the conscious agreement of the leading committees that SCP-001 was discovered through the unintentional preservation of the Foundation databases across all three timelines. It is currently unclear how this data preservation is occurring, but it is confirmed to be instantaneous relative to each timeline's analog of the current or of the creation date. A file created on January 1st, 2018 at 8 p.m. in a timeline HC will simultaneously appear in the database present in timeline OC and timeline OW on January 1st, 2018 at 8 p.m. Cooperation between the leading committees of each representative timeline has led to the conclusion that the majority of recorded anomalous phenomena presented in the shared database only exists within one timeline. Only 17 anomalies have been confirmed to exist across all three timelines. Considering the presence of Mobile Task Force Alp Zero in both timeline HC and timeline OW, the consensuous belief is that SCP-001 is preserved through unclear future events that prompt the leading committees of the foundations to dispatch this MTF at a future date with the intent of altering the circumstances of the foundation's conception, creating the next successful timeline. The order of timelines is unknown, but deemed irrelevant. As evidenced by SCP-001's ability to escape its containment chamber, it is agreed that MTF Alp Zero will be dispatched prior to the destruction of containment chamber. It is believed that as timeline HC will be overwritten by either timeline OC or timeline OW as a result of this. This will result in immediate cessation of timeline HC and the loss of all contents, further ex exploitation based on the fact that so similar events occur at similar times across all three timelines, so strongly suggests timeline OC and timeline OW will also terminate at that time. As a result, it is the unanimous agreement of the leading committees that SCP-001 must be neutralized to prevent the cessation of one or all three timelines and the resultant loss of the Foundation and humanity. Questioning of, of SCP-001 by the Overseer Council has revealed that the device they intend to construct specifically executes this purpose. Cooperation between the Overseer Council and Overwatch has confirmed that SCP-001-A is similar to the device intended for construction by SCP-001. Analysis of SCP-001-A has failed to confirm how the device would be or is capable of neutralizing SCP-001. However, SCP-001-1 has similarly confirmed the device is capable of performing this task, but has failed to provide further clarification. Because of the various SCP-001's assumed desire to construct this device and their otherwise apparent phenomenal relation to SCP-001, it is consensuous belief of the leading committees that the completion of this device across all three timelines will result in neutralization of SCP-001, or at minimum enable to more viable containment of SCP-001 through minimization or the neutralization of their anomalous properties. As such, the leading committees of each timeline have agreed to complete the following. High Command will receive the schematics of SCP-001-A and construct it, activating it as soon as, as able. The Overseer Council will voluntarily release SCP-001 from containment, providing them with the required resources to construct SCP-001-A. Overwatch will provide schematics for SCP-001 
dash A to high command and the overseer council. No other actions are required as their device is already complete. The leading committees will cooperate to maximize the probability of this file along with as much of the, the main foundation databases as possible, surviving into the ensuing timeline produced by SCP-001's neutralization for the explicit purpose of the detailing SCP-001 and its neutralization to ensure the anomaly does not reform. This document written and signed by unanimous agreement by the leading committees and the foundation. High command, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Overseer Council, 1 through 12. Overwatch, Overseer 1 through 13.